Well, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to calibrate the resolution of your plotter. Even though most plotters are fairly accurate, over time they can lose their accuracy. So it's important to do a little maintenance every once in a while to make sure that they are cutting the accurate sizes. Because a plotter that is an eighth of an inch off can mean that a pattern will not fit properly. So it's important that you calibrate your plotter at least a couple of times a year or even more. Now in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to do it using the computer cut program. The first thing you want to do is pull up the miscellaneous database and then the test cut for plotter resolution and six by 58 inch rectangle. And as you can see, it's pulled up here. Down at the bottom here in the notes and installation tips, there's instructions on how to do it. But we're going to show you how to do it in this video. So the first thing you want to do is to select the six inch by 58 inch rectangle and hit the cut button and it pulls it into the cut window down at the bottom here. We'll change it to a full show fill. And as you can see up here, it's six inches by 58 inches. And then you simply hit the cut button and cut it, either draw it on paper or cut it out of film. And then lay it on a flat surface and measure it to see if it measures 58 inches long and six inches wide. Make sure you lay it on a flat surface so you get an accurate measurement. If the measurement is accurate, then you're fine. There's no need to go any further. If the measurement is different, then you will need to set the resolution on the plot. So to do this, you go up to the cut window, or up to the top to the cut, and go to plotting defaults, and then setup, and then plotter options. And the easiest way to do this is to select the manual calibration and then you put in the sizes for the X and Y coordinates. X is your left to right, Y is your up and down. So the size on the screen here would be 58 inches by 6 inches. And let's say the rectangle that you cut measure say a little bit shorter than 58 maybe 57.75 so you would put 57.75 in here and then your y normally the y will will not change that much so it's probably will leave it at six and then you click apply and cut it again and measure it again and see how it comes out the measurement is still not at 58. Go ahead and we put the new measurement in here and click apply and keep doing it until it measures the correct side. Once it's calibrated, you should be good for months worth of use, depending upon your use. But as we said, you should calibrate it at least twice a year. 